So you have an aerial or satellite image, for example, taken from Google Earth, and you want to bring the image into Revit. In this video, I'll show you how to bring in this image in the correct location and use it for your site plan. Hi everyone, I'm back to you with BIM Lounge. It's good to see you. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now let's get into today's video. Let's go ahead and prepare a Revit model so it's optimized for this process. What I'm going to do is uh, go to manage project units and uh, make sure that our length is set as the same unit as the one that we were showing in the AutoCAD file that we used to georeference the image. In this case, meters for me. And uh, make sure you have a generous rounding here. I picked uh, six digits, but go ahead and pick what um, you think it's right. Now consider that once you start using images, you lose the ability to be accurate because obviously Google Images have so much resolution to work with. And uh, I would apply a similar rounding to the degrees so you can enter more accurate angles. And I would add, make sure you have a separate view to work in. Um, I went ahead and picked uh, an appropriate scale for a side view and uh, I made sure that my survey point and project base point are visible. Now we're ready to bring in the image that we georeferenced and uh, it has the JGW file connected to it, but Revit won't necessarily read that file as being associated with the image. So we'll just have to get this information manually. But let's go ahead, let's go ahead and import the image. I'll just drag and drop. And of course you can uh, use the clean version if you have one. Right now, just to simplify this explanation, I'll just leave the one with the annotations. Now once you have the image in Revit and uh, you don't have the width and uh, orientation of the image, we can still assign these two coordinates within Revit. So let's go ahead and uh, move the image to the side because the location is not accurate anyway. And uh, we can go ahead and move one of these two points and you see it's unclipped so make sure you do that first so now what we want to do is head over to manage specify coordinates at a point and we want to tell this point to be the point to the left so click on that one and now we want to place the first easting right here and the first northing right here so now this point has these coordinates. Now let's look at the second point. Now that we change the relative coordinate to the whole system, now see this uh, survey point now is reading coordinates that are similar to this. So now this, uh, these two obviously are in sync. Now let's go ahead and uh, tell this point to move and this is going to move as a mere marker. It's not going to move the whole coordinate system because it's unclipped. So let's go ahead and tell that point to be again easting first and it's moving relatively to the first point and then the northing here. And as you can see the relationship seems accurate. So let's go ahead and uh, grab the first point. It should have been the roof, but I couldn't really be accurate in Google Earth. Now this point, as you can see, the points don't correspond yet, which means that we have to at least scale. So let's start by scaling. It's gonna be a graphical scale. We're going to pick that point as a first point and we want the image to go to that point. So it's going to be the pin to roughly, well, not roughly, try to be as accurate as you can. As you can see, you can actually track that point. Perfect. And all we need to do now is rotate the image around the first point because that needs to stay the same as far as coordinates and make sure that these two points coincide. So let's rotate that, press space to relocate your center of rotation. And we wanna make sure that the image goes from here to here. And now of course, 
these points are as accurate as they can be because we almost forced the image to correspond to those two points, to those two coordinates. So as you can see, this is the reading that we're getting from the, the original coordinates. So this is your final image. And consider that with the precision that we can expect from this image is an image that we can use for visualization purposes or a site. You can use this for your context. And obviously, if you have a survey or a civil file, you should use that as a reference. And this image will just give you that more information and uh, give your site plan a little more information about the surroundings. Now, of course, let me know if you have any questions about this process. But did you know that you can uh, reuse these uh, Google images for various applications, including your um, site in CAD or Civil 3D, or even to improve the resolution of the ground imagery in uh, InfraWorks? Well, in these videos, I show just that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.